Hey, what's up? Hello. I hope you all are doing well. Today I want to talk about a new release that I'm actually reasonably in time with reviewing in relation to its publication date, uh, which is Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. This came out earlier in January of this year, 2019, and it was fantastic. So this is Emma Mills' fourth book, and I think I've reviewed two out of the other three of her books here on this channel. I'm not really sure why I haven't reviewed This Adventure Ends, so perhaps I'll have to go back and do that now. But I have been following this author since her days on YouTube, and I have really, really enjoyed her writing and her ability to create characters that really stick with you long after you finish reading, which is probably why I can't think of baby giraffes without also thinking of her. Famous in a Small Town is equally as delightful and thoughtful as her other books. Uh, the story follows a girl that is called Sophie in her final year of high school in a really, really small town in Illinois. And it takes place over the summer while she is babysitting and thinking about college and enjoying time with her best friends, but she's also working on a fundraiser for the marching band at her high school, um, and she's sort of in charge of the whole thing. It's a really big, weighty task, and in dealing with it, she winds up making a new friend who has moved in uh, with her neighbors across the street, uh, whose children she looks after quite frequently. And this boy's name is August, and he is extremely secretive, but also she's very determined, despite that, to befriend him. I really enjoyed Sophie's character. She's not faultless, and as usual with Emma Mills' main characters, there's definitely a part of her that I really connected with. Both her fastidiousness in her own pursuits uh, and her commitment to her enjoyment and like the success of the marching band, I definitely, uh, that struck home for me. It helped, I think, also that I was too a clarinetist, as was Rebecca, uh, when we were in elementary, middle, and high school. So definitely saw that connection. Sophie also has a really great group of friendships. She's part of a really close group of five people from the band uh, who all really value and respect each other uh, in a group, but also individually. You can definitely pick out their individual relationships with each other as opposed to the group dynamic. And we see this through different like memories and anecdotes as the story goes on. And it's a really great encapsulation of the closeness of friends, but I think moreover the closeness of band students uh, in particular and their commitment not only to their music, but also to each other more personally. And the ages of them sort of split. I think a couple of them are juniors and a couple of them are seniors. Uh, so their third and fourth and final years of high school in this story. And I say this about each of Emma Mills' books, but she does a really great job, I think, of touching on being a teenager right now in the digital age. Um, tiny things like a group chat that's named after an inside joke go a really long way, um, the one in this book in particular, because it does become a plot point, to illustrate the modernity of the story and how it situates itself in the present. And I really love small things like that about her work. Those are things that always stick out to me. The character of August is the newcomer into this group, and he he doesn't sit quite so well with me, or he didn't, at least for a lot of the story. He's very close kept, like I said, a secretive person and only reveals uh, himself very sparingly, which doesn't lend to liking him easily. He also made some mistakes throughout the book that were really difficult for me to reconcile, but at the same time, he is such a realistic portrayal of what it's like to be an emotional young man uh, that you you have to applaud the character even though I couldn't get around some parts of his personality and some of the choices that he made it was so seemingly authentic that in the end I was a lot more okay with it. And because of August, he's sort of the impetus for this topic, um, the book also brings family composition to the forefront and the dynamics within that to the forefront. And it shows that there's really no one-size-fits-all kind of family, which is so wonderful to read about because I don't think that we encounter that a ton in YA, or at least not the YA that I have come across. And I think non-traditional families are so prevalent and much more prevalent than many of us believe or have experienced, and I'm really pleased that this story opens that up a little bit further. And without giving away too much, I really want to applaud uh, the wee twist in this story, which is bigger than anything in the way of a twist that we've had from this author before, I think. Um, it was done in a way that reminded me of Gail Honeyman's um, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, and I found myself really surprised with how it all came together. So 
massive thumbs up for that. Didn't didn't see it coming and was pleased with the way that it was executed into the ending. So overall I gave this book four and a half stars. Uh, like I said, I'm really such a fan of Emma Mill's work um, and if you're looking for your next YA contemporary book, I would encourage you to check this one out and even check it out from the library, which is what I did. And honestly, my favorite part of this book was probably the fact that volunteering at the library plays uh, a mentionable role in this story. So major points for that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Anything that you want to know about us is probably down in the description. I hope you're having lovely weeks and lovely lives and we'll see you very soon.